this is not the same as this. You could be damaging your scalp or skin and I'm here to tell you, you need to throw away your derma roller. So let's just get into this video because I am sick and tired of seeing these micro needling devices being used by everyone, which is probably destroying your scalp and causing irreversible scar tissue. Let's just get into it. Hey guys, my name is Iman. I suffer from hair loss and on this channel we talk about natural, scientifically backed methods to combat hair loss. And today I really want to bring your attention to microneedling. So there are so many derma rollers on the market which have triangular knives, metal wheel discs. And it's prevalent. Every single brand, even the most premium brands, are using these type of derma rollers. And I'm here to tell you that kind of derma roller is causing a lot of damage, a lot of scarring, and it is just not worth the scar. And they are cheaper because they are cheap to manufacture. These metal wheel discs are put together by machine. They don't have individual needles. They look like triangular knives. And a lot of brands use this type of derma roller, as I mentioned, is because you don't need a lot of work to put the derma roller together. Whereas a real needle derma roller with individual needles have to be placed by hand. Obviously, that makes the derma roller a lot more expensive to manufacture. Me being my own customer, I knew that I had to make a derma roller with real needles because I was sick and tired of not being able to find one. So this derma roller has individual needles and I'm going to give a quick test. We're going to do the fake needle derma roller versus the real needle derma roller and we're going to check on a banana. So as I mentioned, the fake needle derma roller is made out of titanium wheel discs and those triangular knives, they create quite big incisions. And the whole point of microneedling is you want to create trauma to the scalp and micro injuries, which gets the blood flow going, oxygen, IGF-1, hair growth factors. But if you are using a fake needle derma roller with those knives, you're creating a larger incision, which has more likelihood of causing uh, irreversible scar tissue and damage to the scalp, to the skin. That's why the precision real needle derma roller goes in one precise point and doesn't leave that tram track scarring. It's called micro needle it's not called micro slicing. There is a difference and it could be causing you lots of damage. I've linked my derma roller to the video and you can tell it's real needles because you can see the full needle drum. Typically the fake needle derma rollers, you can't actually see the needles. When you look quite closely, they do look like triangular knives rather than needles. And here you can see that this is quite different. So you can see the actual needles in the drum and they look like individual needles. What's worse about these kind of type of needles is they're typically made by titanium and titanium is a stronger material than steel. Why? You know, it's counterintuitive. You think if it's stronger then it's like more effective, but actually if you have titanium, it's harder to make sharp because it's a stronger material. In surgeries, surgeons use medical grade stainless steel and there is a reason because it's safer, it's more effective. You can create very sharp tools to give you precision. It's so important to make sure that the derma roller does not have blunt needles. To do that is to make sure you keep it in its case. This comes with a beautiful matte case. It keeps your derma roller safe. It keeps it away from being blunt, but you do need to replace the derma roller. Now, a microneedling session in the salon can cost anywhere between $300 to $900 per session. And to see results from microneedling, you need to use a one millimeter derma roller once a week. One millimeter is the optimum depth for hair loss and hair growth. Weekly treatments are the best amount of time to actually see results. And I've done a whole video on this talking about the right needle depth. Check it out if you want to see the studies and the clinical research to back that data up. If you are thinking of microneedling for hair growth and hair loss, I will say 100% yes. I wish I started earlier. It has been one of the key things that has helped me regrow thicker, fuller hair. With consistent use, you will definitely see results within six to eight weeks. Now, a lot of my customers have seen amazing results. I've seen so many women and men uh, who have started microneedling and already can see baby hairs. It's, it's truly transformational and you can start to see the results straight away. Now before you go, I'm going to give you my top tips on how to microneedle effectively. You get the most out of your microneedling sessions. Tip number one is always disinfect your derma roller before and after use. I use 70% isoprol alcohol and this case is perfect because I can pour it into the case which will then disinfect the 
needles for me and I'll leave that for five to ten minutes. I always micro needle on a clean scalp and that means exfoliating your scalp two to three times a week because you will start to see flakes when you start micro needling and that's completely normal it's natural because your scalp skin is renewing when you are have a scab the top layer of skin sheds and you get new skin and that's a similar process to micro needling you are causing light trauma to the scalp it heals it it activates dormant hair follicles that top layer will shed and you want to ensure your micro needling not on that top layer not on dandruff not on product buildup so exfoliating I have an amazing all natural bentonite clay scalp scrub which will help you do that so disinfection really important the second step that's really important is to make sure that the area goes red before you can move on to the next section so I part my hair in sections I micro needle over that section until it goes red and that's a good indicator to know you have micro needled effectively now there are different techniques in terms of how to micro needle but the best way to do it is if you want to kind of avoid all risk of causing any damage I would micro needle in different directions but you can lift the derma roller after each pass so I'll demonstrate what that actually means so for example I've got my hand here so I'm micro needling in different directions so you've got horizontal vertical diagonal and the other diagonal. So those are all the different ways to micro needle. But once you are micro needling in a specific direction, you just want to lift it after each pass. So here I've just lifted the derma roller instead of going back and forth. I personally go back and forth, but if you wanted to avoid the risk of any sort of damage, then you can just lift the derma roller after each pass like that. But make sure you go in all directions. And that ensures you're getting that precise point, but you're not increasing the trauma of that. But you do want to make sure you're going in all directions because you want to create lots of micro injuries across the whole area. So that's why I really recommend doing each of those directions and just lifting after each pass. My first and final tip is to really maximize the hair growth to increase chances of growing thicker hairs to use a topical treatment. I am a natural girly, I don't like chemicals, so the best things are oils or scalp mist. My Radiance Hair Oil has 17 potent natural organic cold pressed oils including rosemary, sage, peppermint, avocado oil, black seed oil. Using that as a spot treatment and applying it after microneedling is great. You can also use my Essence Scalp Mist which has turmeric stem cells, it has has niacinamide, red clover. It is jam-packed with really potent ingredients. You don't have to use a topical treatment. It does help to maximize results. And actually microneedling alone will yield results more than if you just use minoxidil alone. So there are a lot of clinical studies to support that. But if there is one thing to add to your hair growth regimen, to your hair loss routine, it is microneedling. So if you were thinking about it, this is your sign to start microneedling, but with the right tool, the right derma roller. If you guys had any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!